What's going on, everybody? It's Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. All right, guys, we have some very strong opposing sides on what to do with Ape. You have a large group of people that are saying, hold Ape. Ape is the answer. Ape is the key. You have another group of people, and some of them that are influencers are saying, listen, no, Ape is worthless. You should sell Ape. So I had somebody in the group earlier today ask me what my opinion was, not only on what to do or what I'm going to do with the stock, which I will cover you, with you in just a moment, but also what was my opinion on what others have said. So I figured it was a good time to come on here and make a video. Now, in this video, I'm going to cover a few key things. I'm going to cover what my uh, thoughts on are, are with Ape. Uh, I'm going to cover what I'm doing with Ape. And then most importantly, I want to cover something else that has kind of just got me thinking over the last, well, really over the last few months. And um, a part of me takes responsibility, obviously, for this because I create content on AMC. But an another part of me just feels obligated to reiterate in a much deeper uh, bolder statement on my thought process when it comes to investing inside the market, when it comes to taking control of your own destiny, okay? When it comes to inevitably becoming financially free, which is why we all started getting into the stock market, why we all started investing in the first place. So let me just break everything down for you. I'm going to go over uh, what I wrote uh, my thought process behind it. And and uh, so let's get rolling. So first of all, this is what I said. I said, here's the way I see it. Ape is a sure short in a longer time frame. The higher the price goes, the higher gains for shorts. They will continue to build positions. Here's why. Adam Aaron has made it clear he is going to do an offering. Right now, players are trying to catch the run-up and sell the second an offering comes through, as well as shorts are building and will add the second an offering goes through. So in theory, in my opinion, the price of Ape will go up first before it goes down. Let me break that down. First of all, Ape is a sure short. What do I mean by that in a longer time frame? Let's bring this back all the way to before you even heard about AMC in the stock of 2020. You have funds that went heavy, serious conviction on shorting AMC because of a few things. One, their heavy debt. Their, their, their cash flow balance was already struggling prior to the COVID lockdowns, going into zero revenue and having massive overhead. Think about all these theaters, okay? Massive overhead, zero revenue. In 2020, that's when these funds said, listen, I'm going to slap a heavy short bet on this. At that time frame, they had a sure short. Now, of course, <laughs> things did not go their way. But at that time frame, they had a sure short. Here they are again, thinking the same thing. You have a stock, okay, or a preferred equity dividend that has been issued. And the CEO has stated, listen, we're only putting out half a billion. We got 4.5 billion, nine times the float available to drop on this. And by the way, we are going to. We need to raise capital. Okay, the reason why we are doing this is because our, our majority shareholders of AMC have already denied our request for the ability to offer more shares. We denied it back in 2020, 21. Okay, you look at them burning cash quarter over quarter. We are potentially in a recession, if not heading towards a recession, and disposable income is just becoming less and less and less. He needs the ability to raise capital. Funds are thinking to themselves, sure, short. Sure. Now, how does that affect the price action? Well, first of all, when you have people that are going to potentially be shorting a stock, there is an opposing side, all right? You also have funds say, listen, I know shorts are going to be trying to catch the top of this. So what am I going to do? Run it up, run it up, run it up. You have momentum traders and you have, like I said, just opposing funds, which we've seen already. There are funds that are long on eight. There's always an opposite side. When there's an interest and an incentive on one, there generally is an opposing side, okay? So therefore, you have an opposing side that is going to try to fight and push up eight as much as it can to ride it, to squeeze shorts before an offering, okay? And the second an offering is dropped, they're gonna get out of it. They're gonna drop it and they're gonna go, all right? Shorts will continue to build the position so long as they can do it, all right? Because everything's a plan. They have their time frame, they have their plan, all right? Whether it's 10% here, 20% there, whatever it is, they're gonna build a position and try to catch it as much as they can, have the highest average possible. So obviously when it drops, when an offering, because that's exactly what happens when an offering, which by the way, let me just say this, that in some cases, when offerings are done with small caps, 
they can recover. And in other times, momentum is just completely left. It depends the severity of, of the offering, okay? And I've learned that from years of trading small caps. It depends on the severity of the offering, and it also depends on the interest. Right now, AMC has a ton of interest. So obviously, the offerings that they did, well, a lot of sometimes we had recovered from those. There was initial recovery and so forth. Tons of eyes were on that. It doesn't always happen with small caps, okay? So that is the theory, up and then down. And I hope you understand the exact reasons why. Now, here's where I believe the problem lies that I think that people had said, listen, sell ape now in order to get into AMC is because and I state this in a very you know detailed manner of how many apes have you know pre-market and after our algos to set stops the millisecond of Bloomberg terminal season offering. What I mean by that is the people that are long on ape as of right now, they either have traders actively at their desks at, at you know every single time from 4 a.m. to 8 p.m., depending on the time zone that they're in, okay? Or they have algorithms. They have the stops. Right? The second that they see that word offering, boom, cut. And if you're not active at your desk, at your computer, or active you know, following news, are you going to be able to catch that, all right? And I also think that what some people are saying is that some of the people that hold apes will be bagged. And there is a potential for that. And here's the other reason. Because right now, Ape was not given to us for free. Ape came at a, as a cost. And the reason why I'm saying that is because if you held 100 shares of Ape at $18 and, or at AMC at $18, and then you got Ape at seven, well, AMC is now at, you know, 10, between 10, let's say 10 to $10, that's at a cost, okay? So if Ape does drop even further, that as a, as a cost to you, it's a negative factor towards you, all right? So that's where I feel that some of the individuals aren't gonna know when to sell, right? or how to sell, okay, or be able to sell quick enough in order to be able to catch this, because you never know how big this dilution is going to be, all right? 100 million shares might not hurt it, but I'll tell you, you double that float, you triple that float, um, that's going to put a big severity dent on this, especially in the short term, okay? So that's where I feel that some of the individuals that have said, listen, you should sell ape, or, you know, get back into AMC, use that money to buy back in at a cheaper price, even though it, it'll, it's almost net, net even, that's where I see that coming from. Now, let's talk about me. As for me, I still hold eight, okay? I will potentially try to catch the top. <laughs> Not gonna try too hard, all right? Personally, because Merrill Lynch kinda sucks with that, I can only trade at 7 a.m. The order system sucks, it's my long-term portfolio, so it's, it's not going to be quick. But however, I'll try to catch the top of it, but I'm in it for the action momentum. I've put enough time and energy into this that I am not going to leave, okay? Now, what I mean by that and why I'm saying that is everybody's situation is different, okay? My situation is different than yours, is different than the next person's, okay? In one sense, you're gonna be behind a bunch of people. In another sense, you're gonna be ahead of a bunch of people, okay? I choose to hold not because it's going to change my life or change my future or provide generational wealth, okay? I hold for completely different reasons. All right. This is also makes up a small amount of my net wealth. Okay. Not, not saying I'm loaded, but it does make up a small amount of my net wealth. And therefore I'm able to still run a business, trade every single day, have a long-term portfolio, continue to, you know, invest in real estate. Although I'm still waiting for the market to change a little bit, but continue to still you know, invest in real estate, you know, pay down my mortgages that I have and be able to collect on that as well. Completely different position. And this is what got me thinking that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. We've been in this for almost 20 months as of right now, okay? And the amount of speculation and the amount of time that people, you know, put into scrolling Twitter, scrolling Reddit, watching YouTube videos, which everybody wants to get information and needs entertainment, and that's okay. But the amount of time that gets put into it can be better well spent. And that's why I said this last statement here. I said, however, and this is a big however, I've said this since I started this discord over a year ago, the study back test, ask questions, learn the market, build a strategy, and you will make more money over the course of your life than AMC will ever provide you. I guarantee it. Okay. I guarantee if there are traders inside the group that clear massive gains every single day, and there are plenty of traders that I know outside of my group. Okay. That clear massive amount of gains every single day. And the amount of time that some people have spent, and, I, and don't get me wrong, I scroll, I look at this, I watch YouTube videos, there's nothing wrong with it. But 
There's an old school saying that says it takes one year to change your life. Okay. And that is something that I have done. I've tried to instill inside this community. Now I'm not, you know, I do not spend my, my, my sole time just obviously in, in the group. Okay. I still, you know, trade, I have other things to do in order to be able to provide for my family, but I try as hard as I can. Okay. To explain my thought process, to help every individual I can to lay out, you know, what a strategy looks like. Okay. But it all comes down to where you're going to continue to focus your attention. All right. And while, yeah, it's still good to be able to get some entertainment, get some knowledge and so forth, maintain your core position. Okay. Let's can, let's continue to put pressure, but use your time wisely. All right. And if you think about this, I said this a year ago that, yeah, that's fine. Continue to hold AMC, whatever. But if you continue to put in the effort, the work, the amount of money that you're going to make, because inevitably we're all in this for financial freedom. Okay. The amount of financial freedom that you're going to be able to get from becoming an efficient investor, trader, whatever it may be, whatever fits your, you know, personality, your time schedule is going to far exceed. And I stand by that today. Okay. So guys, I hope this video helped you out. All right. And that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one.